We're going to talk about a potential opportunity in the cryptocurrency market to potentially grow your Bitcoin through their own ecosystem. Yes, the Bitcoin ecosystem. We're going to talk about runes. We're going to compare it to BRC20s and why we're starting to see more and more of this over the course of the last couple of months. They're new, very new. I talk about Bitcoin as a new, new financial asset and it is realistically versus gold versus traditional markets and other things we know in the past. But runes are very new, like very new. You're early. Before we go on though, if you're new, subscribe, hit the like button and let me know if you are involved or have no idea about runes. Let's be honest here, right? So let's get into the nitty gritty. There has been some obvious Bitcoiners and cryptocurrency YouTubers talk about runes, right? But I feel in terms of the statistical data, it is absolutely tiny. This video is not going to be technical. Feel free to check out YouTube and look at the, the element around it, especially Bitcoin runes explained by the Bitcoin University. I would rather you watch that if you want to understand the, you know, the, the gubbins, essentially. I'm going to talk about the obvious in the room. Now, let's get into it. Elite Artist, one of my capos in my Patreon community, absolute fountain of knowledge regarding the Bitcoin ecosystem, I'm quite happily just guided. Yeah, what you got? Tell me. Let me absorb it. It helps, right? Now, fundamentals. The Bitcoin ecosystem, in my opinion, is at the minute untapped in terms of its overall potential if you're going to give something wings, right? Imagine Bitcoin as it is. It's, you know, it's $1.4 trillion valuation, but the rest of it is very much like a tree without leaves, let's be honest here, right? This tweet is fantastic. Some of the largest projects out there burped after the introduction of the fungible token standard. Now this is happening on Bitcoin. We'll come back to this element of it is now happening on Bitcoin, right? Because let's talk about what happened when I first joined crypto. 2016, I bought Bitcoin. I then jumped into, um, you know, the, the world of be honest, altcoins by buying likes of Ethereum, Litecoin. I bought Ant shares as Neo and stuff. Like all that craziness. And then the the ICO boom happened. Now, when we talk about this, there's a lot of things happening in the world of the Bitcoin ecosystem. But realistically, it could be exactly the same as what we seen back in 2017, where we're going to see these brand new assets come to the front, and they started off using. The Bitcoin ecosystem using that security nucleus, which is the most powerful blockchain in the world, right? It's kind of obvious. Now, when we talk about this, all the signs are there. When we talk about, you know, ordinals, BRC twenties, runes, they're all pieces of Bitcoin, and Bitcoin is a huge, colossal computer that is literally unbreakable. When we talk about the other ICOs in terms of all that situation around it. Ethereum often gets hacked. Solana has issues. You know, other chains have problems. The crowd loan problems with Polkadot. Like, fucking mental. But I will have to say this. The meme coin market and the new asset market on Bitcoin is going to be very speculative. It's not going to be that quick, rich scheme. But ultimately, I think you need to start understanding it and maybe dabbling a little bit in it for potential returns. That's all I'm going to say, right? Obviously, nothing's 100%. But again, I echo this. I'll show you what I'm doing in a minute. But the reality is here, this element here, there will be stuff on the Bitcoin ecosystem that will pop. And you'll be like, I just wish I looked at that a bit sooner. Because the reality is here, I don't think people realise this, runes are brand new, literally. And the runes is a lot faster and a lot more efficient than the likes of BRC20s. Let me just show you a more simple article here. BRC20s were first launched in March of 2023. Its market cap isn't that far away from this actually now. We'll look at that currently in a minute. It's very similar to the Ethereum model. And reality is, it can be used today. The problems were this. Bloat, no lightning network capabilities, potential concerns of security. The new one, 
is runes, the new challenger, so to speak, launching literally, or launched literally months ago. Baby. Market cap, we'll talk about that in a minute. This is an old article. And it is tokens directly on as Bitcoin Satoshis. We'll come on to that in a bit as well. And potentially more efficient on the blockchain lightning network capability is huge and obviously improved privacy elements. But as everything, it is littered with problems because it is new adoption. But that, in my opinion, is slowly changing. Let me explain. So going back to BRC20, is we're currently at 1.7 billion dollar market capitalization. That it? Mental, I know. So when you think about how many tokens are here and the volume, yeah, there's enough here. Aud is a pretty big one for ordinals. You got Sats. You got a couple of random stuff here, but there's actually quite a lot of randoms as well. But reality is they've been around for a little bit longer. The most obvious thing to do is talk about what are runes and why runes are now becoming more obvious. It's now got only a $428 million market capitalization with 11.5 million trading volume. Now, they are slowly, slowly getting more and more interest. Now, sometimes when you look at it, you think, well, what, why, why is this even a thing? But if the capability is much stronger, much better, more efficient, and people start building and developing on Bitcoin, you're going to find more and more of these coins and also projects getting built utilizing the security metrics of Bitcoin and that whole ecosystem. That is important. But let's talk about something very, very clear here. Now, when I first saw this, I literally weed my pants. I'm not even going to. I literally did. This is unbelievable. Now, this is a couple of days old now. But when you talk about the size of the market in terms of capitalization, we often talk on this channel about Bitcoin dominance and Ethereum dominance and Solana and all that kind of stuff, right? But this is mental. When you think, right, now that someone has just flicked the switch on the Bitcoin ecosystem to be able to do this capability. Now, this is capable stuff since March 2023 for BRC20s. Now we've got runes. And that is where we are. Kind of a bit mental, reality wise, right? And this tweet isn't even massively popular. This is a thing. There's only 3,300 people who have seen this tweet. Absolute madness. And again, if you want to play at the casino and win big, you've got to actually turn up. And the reality is, eventually, people will turn up when the user elements get faster and more efficient, when more and more exchanges. Remember, it's on the Bitcoin network. It cannot be a problem getting listed on any exchange. You already are. It's going to be huge, right? The next thing we obviously need to talk about is what sort of runes are around and where are they? Now, this is, again, it's only from the 28th of September, but Doctor the Moon is one that I hold. I will talk about that in a second. I also hold Billy. I'll talk about that in a bit. There's a couple of other ones out there, but you can see here, their average holders, what, 2,500, 3,300, 11,000, 69,000. Not many people holding, considering the size and the, the breadth of the whole Bitcoin ecosystem. This is going to be very, very interesting to see where we go. So something that I'm doing on Patreon is a dollar cost average challenge utilizing a fresh Bitcoin wallet. I am every single Monday, pretty much, I'm doing little dollar cost averages in. You can see that it's growing. Now, all those little outputs is me buying runes, essentially, right? In simple terms. I want to explain the process and how to do it. Now, my overall goal is to grow as many Satoshis as possible and also put in a percentage of my wealth from this wallet alone into runes. It's very early yet. There's only a little bit of input going into it. And let me show you it. This is my portfolio. Now, what's crazy is... I am up quite a lot. I think my overall investment is about $400 in this. It's already doubled because of billion dollar cap. It's done very well since I bought it, to be fair. And that's what I mean. Like I want to try and showcase that you can build Satoshis utilizing, hopefully, fingers crossed, some really good assets that are backed very early on by a huge community drive. And over time, that element migrates over from Ethereum, from Solana, even the likes of other ecosystems with meme coins into the likes of, say, the market share increasing. 
And hopefully, fingers crossed, more and more value in your Bitcoin wallet is because you are buying Bitcoin related ecosystem assets, whether they are meme coins, whether they are ordinals, whether they are actual utility elements, which is pretty big, right? In in the reality of it. The biggest problem that we do have, it's new, it's relatively risky, and not everything would be great, which is why I've been talking about it. It is very speculative. But I think overall, you've got to look at the market and see what it sees. Let's be honest, you've got to look into it. You've got to get your head into the game because if you kind of miss out on this, you will look and think, oh, that was obvious, wasn't it? By the way, if anyone does want to follow this, I will talk about it on my Patreon more. But that's what that thing on, you know, the thumbnail that you see on the little top left hand corner. This is what this account is. I want to just grow it. There's a link below if you want to get involved in the wallet. Feel free. You can have a little check out. But yeah, all the data is here. You can see the little dollar cost averages. Feel free to follow along. Now, the one thing that I do talk a lot about is stacks. Now, again, a little bit different to runes and ordinals and all that kind of stuff. But this is a Bitcoin economy within like the layer two sort of situation. When you think about layer twos and stuff. Now, if you use this a couple of months ago, you would have been like, this is slow, this is horrible, this is sluggish. But now the Nakamoto upgrade has made it more efficient, more secure. And it kind of is very much faster. Well, I think it's faster than the likes of Ethereum. And again, we talk about the Bitcoin economy. Unlock the, the capital that is kind of utilized in Bitcoin wallets. Where will it go? Well, maybe into layer twos, maybe into projects developed on stacks maybe into runes, maybe into ordinals, all that kind of stuff. And when you start thinking, if this is fast, efficient, and not going to blow the network, we're going to see more and more developers come into the market. That is going to be huge for the ecosystem. And then we might well talk about dominance of Ethereum dropping because Ethereum may be less superior than Bitcoin for building on things, which could be mad when you think about what, what a flipping in that could be, right? Remember years ago, all the OGs out there, you can't build anything on Bitcoin, it's too slow, sluggish. That might be changing. And we might be there for it right now in terms of the early, early phase of it. And you've also got to talk about the strength of the ETF element. More and more developers, more runes, more ordinal potential. Obviously, BRC20s are still a thing too, obviously. But the more and more that is built and growing over time, look at how many Ethereum-led coins it is. It's ridiculous. The input from institutional investment for Bitcoin alone as a standard is huge versus Ethereum. But let's just look at how many ERC-20s there is. So when we talk about ERC-20s, there's $370 billion in market capitalization. I know most of it is Ethereum. But if you remove a lot of this kind of noise from this top half, that is a hell of a lot bigger than what we've got right now when we're talking about a 1.7 billion in BRCs or the 428 million in runes. So just remember, there's a lot more growth here, in my opinion. The ultimate question is, uh, will this affect the Bitcoin dominance? Well, potentially, yes, because as I've alluded to it, if we are going to start to see more and more developers and more and more builds essentially on the likes of Ethereum going over to Bitcoin, for example, from the past. That's going to create more and more developers to build and more and more projects, and they're going to be pricing Satoshis, and they're going to be on the chain. Being on the chain is going to be important because it's going to increase that valuation. So that could be very, very interesting. But I know you probably are wondering, well, what does this matter? Well, it matters massively because often the market is pricing these dominances. And we're seeing right now, obviously, Ethereum is doing very bad, but it may well be correcting back up again. Obviously, the whole element of the Bitcoin dominance essentially is absolutely huge. But it could realistically go higher before it goes down again as well. That could be huge. That's a big thing. We do not know where the next phase of this market is going to go with what's happening with the election. But what we can say is we are early to a lot of things. And I think runes, in my opinion, is one of the best things you can look into if you are looking at untapped potential. I know a lot of my subscribers don't hold or have anything to do with Bitcoin. They're all, you know, looking at old coins. Look that way. Now you're probably wondering about obviously all these runes and obviously ordinals and bits and bobs. What I've done, I've created a wallet on Magic Eden. 
simple wallet you can click on the wallet element here you've got it on mobile or on the browser extension this is what i've got right yeah you can buy these well certain ones you can buy on exchanges right for me i bought billion dollar cat and i bought dog go to the moon why because i got really solid communities big up right there is a couple of others that i have keep my eye on but i'm not going to just go balls deep i want to just gradually build this up and see what happens you never know things may work out very very well in terms of buying these on Magic Eden, as I say, you can go to a centralized exchange. If you want to go on to like Billion Dollar Cat and buy it somewhere, you can. You can buy it on MXC. You can buy Dog Go to the Moon on a lot of things, right? Now, when you're buying it on here, for example, it's very different and you are doing it by a quantity in slots. Or, well, lot size, not slot sizes, but lots, right? So, yes, you can place your own bidding, but ultimately you've got to kind of do it through the order book. And, there's always a buyer and a seller relationship, obviously, in any exchange. When you buy it, you basically need to just wait for it to happen, right? So it's kind of a bit of an, a patient game. But this, realistically, over the last month or so, has done pretty damn well. But ultimately, it's only a $42 million market cap. So it could do a lot better, realistically, right? With already 8,500 holders. So you get all the data here. In reality, though... There's a lot of risk here. So bear that in mind. Not financial advice, of course. Check out as well any website, all the social media, in my opinion. But do not buy a copycat. Look at the rune numbers. If you if the rune number adds up, that's what you need to go for. Dog Go to the Moon's recently had a lot of like issues with scammers and trying to blow up volume. And again, this one has been doing relatively alright over the course of the last few weeks. But this could be the number one meme coin on Bitcoin. That could be worth a hell of a lot more. Look at what happened in other markets with meme coins. Is this going to be the top Bitcoin meme coin? Potentially, yes. So, yeah, that's how you do it.